In this video, we are going to take a look at factoring a trinomial with two variables. When there's two variables, we'll only be able to factor it if we see the first variable squared, then the two variables multiplied, and then the last variable squared. If they are set up in this way, we can factor it in much the same way we solved other trinomials, and that is to use the AC method, multiplying 4 times negative 5 to get negative 20, and knowing we want to add to the middle number, which is negative 1. A little bit of work with this pair, and we find out that negative 5 times positive 4 equals negative 20, and adds to the negative 1 we're looking for. This is how we will split the middle term, but notice this time the middle term has x, y on it. That means our negative 5 will have x, y, and so will the 4. We now have 4x squared minus 5xy plus 4xy minus 5y squared. We can now continue factoring this problem by grouping, splitting down the middle after the second term. On the left side, we see a GCF of just x. This leaves behind 4x minus 5y. On the right side, we see a GCF of just y. This leaves behind 4x minus 5y. We have our matching binomial factor of 4x minus 5y, and the other factor is what's left after those are factored out, the x plus y, and we have our solution. Factoring with two variables works exactly the same as factoring with one variable. We'll just keep in mind that when we split the middle term, we split it with the x, y attached.